uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, thank you for attending this presentation. This is the last presentation to this track today, so you must be tired, but you can drink cold beer after this. Please bear with me for a while. Um, my name is Satoshi Horiuchi from NTT East. I'm a network engineer of our company. This is Shinji Yonesaka from NTT West. Today, Shinji and I will be giving the presentation. We would like to talk about the result of use case of P4 and the new use case of P4. There are two main topics I'd like to talk on this presentation. First, after the short introduction of NTT Group, I talk about the result of two use cases that are video streaming and switching function experiments. Second, we introduce our plan of new use case of P4 switch. The second part is talked by Yonesaka. Now let's move on introduction part. This is NTT group organization chart. NTT group is divided by roles. For example, NTT is, NTT is responsible for group management and basic research. NTT East and West are responsible for regional communications business. NTT Docomo is responsible for mobile communication business, and so on. So NTT East and West provide last mile FTTH service for our customers. The total of NTT East and West FTTH share is almost 70% in Japan. And the total and the total subscriptions are 20.53 million. Thankfully, a lot of customers use our FTTH service. So here goes the main part. This is rough sketch of our existing network. The name is Next Generation Network. But we call this NGN for short. We provide FTTH and other services through the NGN. The network is already more than 10 years old. Therefore, there are a lot of, lot of old equipment in our network. Moreover, market technologies and services are rapidly changing. Old equipment are low flex flexibility, so it is difficult to handle those changes. We think SDN NFB is one of the most useful technology to handle those problems. Then we did some experience of P4 switch that is one of the SDN technologies. As you know, P4 switch uses white box and open source technology. There is a possibility that we can reduce CAPEX and OPEX by using P4. Cost reduction is important, but uh, cost reduction is important. That is differently right. But what we expect P4 is creating a new service in order to provide better experience for our customers. So we conducted two experiments to explore the service benefits and business opportunities. The first is live streaming. In this use case, we deployed the streaming function on P4 switch, assuming that we provide low latency live streaming service using in stadium. Why we need low latency? Because if people who are watching sports, such as soccer, using their smartphones, tablets, or public viewing around the, st around the stadium, and their network has a high latency, they will know the goal because of big cheer from the stadium, people can't enjoy the game. And we also think if we realize, the, realize low latency streaming services, the business opportunities will be expanded. That is why we picked this use case. Sorry. The second use case is switching function. This function is basic feature of P4, but it is important to our company because if we can operate the switch by remote control, on-site workers don't need to go to work site. And we can provide new services for our customers more quickly. So we checked the function. This is a structure. Uh, this is a system structure. We use Catalyst 2960 for Topo Black, Alexa Rail 2 Switch, Dell Power Edge for Saba, Barefoot Wedge 100B for P4 Switch, and Onos. 
uh, and others are Raspberry Pi 3 uh, camera module and a PC. And this is a hardware structure. It is almost the same as the previous slide. So if you're interested in this page, please check ONF Connect web page. You can check this slide. Now I would like to talk about first use case result. In this use case, we tried deploying a streaming function on P4 switch. The left figure shows traditional streaming structure. Typically, live streaming today is implemented by streaming server up in the clouds, reflect back the source streaming to clients. It travels through our network and internet top to bottom, adding delays. The right side, the right side is streaming video from P4 switch. And we assume that we put a switch on the edge of our network. Because if we offload the streaming function to edge, we can remove the latency and the heavy traffic from the network. In other words, we can improve customer's experience. This, is, this shows the process of streaming function on people's switch. There are three main steps. The first step is screen packets. A P4 switch detects the packets that contain the RTP protocol. Next step is changing IP address from unicast to multicast, and changing MAC address from server to terminal. The third step is forwarding packet to, term to the terminal. In this manner, we realize the streaming function on the, on the switch. This is a result. Let me remind again, what we did is deploying the deploying streaming function on people switch. In conclusion, uh, we succeeded in deploying the function on people switch, and we also checked the function works well by visibility check. Uh, regarding the latency, there are few differences between them, uh, because uh, this is a natural result in this system. So we also assume that there are some latency on the switch uh, network. We added. Five, 500 milliseconds pseudo latency on the server, server so that it would be easy to understand. And then we compare the latency streaming from people switch and the server. As a result, we succeeded in removing the pseudo latency using people switch. So this function has a possibility to reduce latency and heavy traffic from the network. So what we learned from this experiment, we found we found the possibility that P4 can be used for streaming function at the edge. Let's move on to the next slide. Uh, this is second use case and the result. In this use case, we tried adding the streaming function to P4 switch using Tofino Fast Refresh. At first, there is a function A on the P4 chip, and then we added the function B to the chip we measure the switching time from A to B. There's a result at the bottom of this slide. We switch the function within 13 minutes packet loss. In this experiment, we were able to confirm the basic feature works well. This is the end of my part. Next, Yonesaka introduces a new use case of P4 switch. Thank you. Let's move on to my Presentation. Uh, thank you for Horutsan. And my name is Shinji from NTD West. Uh, I'm a network engineer too. So let's move on to the next topic: new use case for P4. So he said before the, our network like that. Uh, in order to connect to each devices, the network exists under the our NGN is existing under the network internet. This is our um, unique network model in Japan and our network. Um, previously, our network provides uh, mainly TTH services, and so mainly focus on the CPEs, things like that. But recently, uh, many devices are connected to our network. Of course, the mobile device and IoT device, things like that. And According to such kind of situation, our network should be transformed. Then our network should be flexible and acceptable such kind of needs. And in order to the such, in order to realize such kind of needs, uh, P4 
P4 is suitable for our network, I think. The flexibility P4 has is uh, our ne is uh, necessary for in order to the, our network to realization. So in order to realize such kind of network, the, I want to introduce one use case with P4. The placing P4 switch in the network edge and our network can manage various traffic. Because of this, the network manage effectively and various user needs can be accept accepted. However, this is difficult to transform our network drastically. So, as a use case, as a use, the, the use case, uh, so, Based on this model, um, we are planning to attach the P4 technology to local 5G network as a one more simple use case. So I want to show the why I choose the local 5G network. The reason is listed in this slide. The first is the low market entry barriers. This means the uh, in this field, the many, any operator can enter this market. So ne, even if the, they are not mobile service pro providers, the second is the market needs are expanding in Japan. In our country, because device implementation and uh, low, uh, wireless low uh, almost arranged so the market needs and the number of service providers are grow, growing now so the this is uh, one of the market japanese telecom companies are focusing on this year so the this is third uh, and third capability of third is the capability of the local 5g so this capability brings uh, the new opportunity things like the wireless broadband network and uh, security network and things like that. This is the uh, reason why we choose the local 5G network. And uh, in this field, we are targeting uh, the, such kind of business area. Uh, the previous we present about the live stream service and our company is a very strong connection to the local government or uh, local public services providers. So from these areas, they need this network we heard. So this is uh, our targeting areas shown. So to realize uh, such kind of network, uh, we think that there is a two network architecture and one of the uh, on-premise on side, and the other is the cloud, which is uh, good, is, uh, depends on the case, but uh, recently the cloud case is uh, mainstream. And this is because the cost effectiveness and easy network operation. Our company is a network operation company, so the CapEx and OPEX is very important. So by using the structure and with the network automation technology, we have to reduce the capex and opex. So in order to do so, the crowdization and the virtualization is necessary for us. So the, when we consider the case of cloud architecture, there are some problems, especially for two kinds of use cases. The left side, show, left side figure shows the lay, uh, low latency services. This is a delayed issue. The almost packet uh, goes through the public cloud. So this, uh, rea this uh, generates a delay. So in this model, the low latency service is not suitable for. So and the other side, the case of for the data data confidentiality services. This means the uh, operator manage the uh, privacy data, things like that. So the data confidentiality service is a very big business, but very, there are many 
regulation and so we have to uh, clear these kind of problems. So we consider the solutions. So this is our new architecture about this model. So as I said before, our network has a huge closed network under the internet services. Uh, taking advantage of this network, I will install the P4 switch with the EPC in the network edge. In this model, mainly there are two features. The one is a multi-tenant EPC, and the second is the local breakout features. The, these features can clear the um, problems I said before. So with reutilizing this network, the, for the future, we uh, want to realize telecom platform that, realize, that make a new business speedy and flexibly. So we are considering the P4 program. Uh, we are, uh, we are, um, we are, co um, we are customizing now P4 programming for the attaching our network architecture. We believe this model can clear the, such kind of issues. So let's move on the summarize corner. And the other first topic he talked about the test result of streaming and switching area, switching cases. And then as other use case, we talk about the local 5G test, uh, local 5G use case. And then we are planning to test and we are focusing on the, uh, we are, I think the field test is very important because we are operating company. So the, we want to install the P4 technology to the commercial network, uh, practical, practical carrier network. So in order to do so, we have to do the test in the practical, practical field. So as soon as the test environment uh, settles, we are planning to the um, practical test. So after the practical test, we, we are considering the, this technology, in, uh, we are, we want to install the, this technology to a practical network. So through this uh, practical test, we want to lead the installation of uh, P4 technology to the practical network. So I want to, we want to lead uh, this test and we, we, we want to lead this test. So thank you for listening. That's it, thank you. Hi. Um, for the, uh, the multi-tenant EPC, mm -hmm. where are you running the P4 pipeline? Is it on a barefoot switch or something? Or? Yeah, things like such kind of switch. Yeah. yeah. And then in our you, network. You've got an EPC programming that switch yeah. by P4 runtime or? Yes, we are planning to do so. So what nozzle are you running on the switch? Are you mm -hmm. running stratum on the switch, or what NOS are you running on the switch? With noise? O operating system software. NOS, network operating system. What, what, what do you actually got running on the switch? Software? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Things like what? Yeah. You guys are using uh, Barefoot SDE, right, uh -huh. directly, and then having uh, the SwitchD program expose the P4 runtime interface mm -hmm. today? Yeah. That's correct? Yeah, that's that's why. Okay. Yeah. So there's there's uh and your base OS is like Ubuntu or Debian based or what is the the base operating system? Yeah, be, yeah basic operating. I think they use Ubuntu and. Uh, yeah, so Ubuntu with with BFSD uh, and then BFSD switch D exposing a P4 uh, service. Last call for questions before uh, you get to the reception. Let's thank our speakers again. Thank you very much. Thank you.